stranger. This is Ponderosa land. That makes you the stranger, doesn't it? No, that's Cartwright land. Now, just who might you be? I'm Joe Cartwright. Riding out this way looking for strays. Well, you found one. I'm obliged to you for a bed down, a mess of beans, and the use of your coffee pot. You're welcome to it, if, uh, if that's all you're after. That's all I need. This here air, that there sun making a blue shadow mystery of what's over the next rise. Hey, that's a mighty fine piece of horse you got there. Thank you. Lean in the withers. Just like a big stave oak barrel. I had one just like it. Till he, uh... Give up his life saving me in an old Comanche raid outside of Mestizo. Yeah, those fine folk uh, over there gave me this here old watch. For services rendered that day. That's a good looking watch. Man can't ride a watch. Where's your horse? Found it back a ways. Crowbait. Not like this one. Oh, I sure do miss that other fellow. One man horse. Nobody could ride him but me. Same with this one. Oh, I never seen a horse I couldn't ride. Oh, well, you're looking at one now, mister. Let's see. Hey, wait a minute. This horse can make that ridge in 10 seconds flat from a standard start. Yeah, well, sure, he's fast enough. That watch of has got a second hand on it. Look, that's, that's my horse you're sitting on, mister. Oh, you're a fine-looking specimen. I trust you with my watch and my rifle. All right, you're on. Get ready. Go! you play pretty. Now bring it over. Now. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> now that ain't social you run up from me. Sit. Let me be. I ain't such a much. Let me be. You all I got play pretty. Now be nice and do what you got hired to do. Sit. <laughs> 
My guess that pretty little girl already done what she gets paid for. Back off, mister. She's my play. I'm the original ringtail roar. More like a ringtail baboon, I'd say. Did he pay for that 40 rock? No. Now, ain't that forgetful? Now, give him his gun. He'll use it. Well, I guess a man has to make these life and death decisions every day. Now, go on, give it to him. Now, get out of here. obliged. What for? Man needs a bit of muscle stretching after a long day's ride in the saddle. I never had no men fighting over me before. Why not? Well, truly, I ain't such a much. No, that's a terrible thing to say about one of my friends, especially if she reminds me of Snowflower. Snowflower? Indian princess, daughter of Chief Thundercloud. I met her when I was scouting for General Crook. She made a fine bride, till she got killed. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. She died proud and happy, fighting alongside her daddy. My daddy wasn't no chief. He just fought being poor, never had no shoes even. Cut me a five-toed track to church every Sunday, I did. I bet you walked real proud. Just resentful. My old daddy had them dreams. We all gotta have them dreams, gal. Never come true. Bought herself a piece of bottom land and the river came and washed it away. Homesteaded some rich prairie. Drought come and that old homestead just, just went. Guess he died reaching for a fistful of air. He had you. That was riches enough. <laughs> no, it didn't. I run away, heading for San Francisco. I got as far as here and I went bust. And that's why you're working here. Working and waiting. My daddy won 500 in a poker game before some tin horn cashed him in for good. But it's coming here at the Virginia City Bank. Now, ain't that a rainbow wish come true? Yeah. Well, I got important business waiting. Gonna be the end of my rainbow, too. Well, that's nice. Are you all put together? I'll come back. Me, too. All you gotta do is holler Baudry come running. Nice-looking horse you got there. It's tolerable. He'll do to the next one. Are you, uh, you plan to get the next one the same way you got this one? I don't follow your friend. <laughs> you don't follow me, huh? <laughs> of course you don't. I follow you. Right down there to the sheriff's office.
Popery. <laughs> you son of a gun, I thought they'd hung you up years ago. Ben Cartwright, you are a sight for saddle sore eyeballs. You know him. Know him? Yes, we know each other. We uh, had some dealings here and there. Hey, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> you old tiger, you. You remember the time you were standing up a whole battalion of Santa and his best? Oh. <laughs> Just to kiss that slow eyed senior in a goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> long time ago, boy. Long time ago. A long, long road. Yeah. Say, which one was she now? Teresina or, or Margarita? Oh, come on now, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a little bit of your past you ain't got around tell us about, ain't it? Oh, Ben here never was much for talking. <laughs> Just doing. And if this here young bull's your son, you did all right. Yeah. Uh, ask him about your other son. He came in riding Joe's horse. Nobody ever tell you? It ain't polite to interrupt when men are talking? Here's your gun, boy. Now, this here Tad's under the impression that uh, I stole that old hay burner. Yeah, but wait for you to tell me how you came by him. Well, your son uh, told me his name. I saw your brand on, uh, on his horse. And I just couldn't resist having a little fun. So I foxed him. How'd you ride him? And better than that, how'd you get him away from little Joe? Yeah, I think I know how. You pulled that old watch trick on him, didn't you? Yes, sir, I sure <laughs> did. Just like Stephen Rhea did before he got himself hung. <laughs> ben, um, what do you say we sweep from the hinges of our tarsals over the saloon? Oh, there's plenty of time for that once we get to oh, Ponderosa. Come on, Ben! Oh, she'd take that wagon and uh, Candy, see if you can find little Joe, give him a ride home. Bo and I got a lot of talking to do. Come on. <laughs> Supper for some time yet. Could you use a sandwich? Well, I just might. Good. How many? One. Good. If you split the loaf down the long way. did a terrible thing, dear. What do you mean, a guest? Well, this is old Baudry. Come on. Come on, get up. Hey, well, well, old Baudry stole my horse. I've been walking for two and a half hours. I got blistered feet. <laughs> yes, I... Not bad. Right in the button. <laughs> Baudry, this is the youngest, the pride and joy. Joseph, this is old Bo. Sit on, shake hands. How do you do? Oh. <laughs> I heard that he uh, pulled the old watch trick on you. <laughs> yeah, it was real funny. Real funny. Of course, I, uh... I threw in a bit of schooling in the bargain, seeing he was the son of my old compadre. Yeah, schooling? What do you mean, schooling? Well, now you know, never face down a stranger with both your hands so busified, you're at the mercy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. Get upstairs and soak your feet. Yeah, let me go get upstairs and soak my head. <laughs> Here, if your watch. If you don't mind, I'll take my horse back. He's a good horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He, uh... He hits pretty good, Ben. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's all right. One of the best. What about you? You still hitting pretty good, too? What are you still that yonder man looking for what's beyond that next rise? Nope. I'm going to settle down and build me a spread, like you did, Ben. You're not. You're not going to tie down. Why not? You did. Why not me? Oh, you'd find it too dull. Last time I heard you were drifting cattle across the Rio Grande to the Bandidos. Gorillas, Ben. One man's hero is another man's traitor. Well, 
Oh, I might have been on a few Texas one posters, all right. But south of that river, I was a real caballero. You ride up that cut to Miraflores, don't be surprised to find a big statue of Baudry gracing the town square. Ha! <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something, Baudry. Nothing about Baudry would ever surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get those sandwiches. <laughs> Senor. Howdy. There's water in the bucket. Step down, take a drink. I think I will. Many tracks for such a lonely place, huh? Quite a few. Before I came, a man walked to this cabin, one road. Then one rides away, and the other one walks. But the man who walked away is not the one who walked here. You read track pretty good? Oh, something to do. You know. A man that interested in tracking is usually looking for somebody. Isn't somebody always looking for somebody? There is a man I would like to see. He comes this way from Chris Montana. He's a big man. Stands tall, much hombre. Have you seen a man like this on the trail? The man you're looking for is, uh, is he on the run? From who? From you, maybe. From me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> if he comes from the north and I come from the south, how could he be on the run from me, hmm? It's a good question. You know, I think this friend of mine, uh, he went to Virginia City. I've never been there. I think I will go there myself. Fine. Would you close the door when you leave? Hey. You never took your drink of water. Decided I wasn't thirsty. Adios. Hasta luego. Jumping from peak to peak like there was little clumps of clay. Yes, Ben, that was me. Oh, Ben, the world squeezing down like, like some little tad's leaking balloon. Every man's entitled to at least one crack at a big dream. You had yours and you made it work. Well, sweat made it work, Bo. That and the need to settle down. Sure. Ponderosa for you and Miraflores for me. Mexico? No, I got the beginnings right here, Ben. I know $500 ain't much, but maybe it's enough for a down payment. You got the kind of beeves I need, Ben. Now, I know under ordinary circumstances it, it ain't much, but you and me, Ben. Yeah, well, uh... Baudry, you sure that's what you want? I changed, Ben. Believe me, I'm not asking to use you. I'm asking you to invest. Miraflores, huh? Mr. Curry, I went all the way out to the cabin. I didn't see any sign of Joe. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, he uh, he found his way here. <laughs> he walked all the way. He's upstairs soaking his feet right now. Just so he got here, all right. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Baudry, I ran into a man I think is looking for you. 
He's Mexican, he's a big man, very dark, soft-spoken. Do you know him? No, 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 I don't, Caddy, no. Well, I, uh, I got some miles of fence to write. I'll get to it. Fine, thank you, Candy. Yeah. So, Miraflores, huh? I'm not gonna let you jump, Ben. You think about it for a few days. Well, I don't see how I'm gonna be able to turn my back on you. Just the same. You think about it. Now, there's a certain little lady at the Silver Dollar that I think I'll have a few words with. All right? <laughs> hey, uh, you're not gonna walk all the way to Virginia City. And there's a bay in the barn. Help yourself. Thank you, Ben. All right. Ah, my tonsils is clacking my castanets! <laughs> <laughs> I got your message, and I and thought I... And you came I... a running to help me trail the boldry herd back down. <laughs> oh, amigo, I wish it were true. I really do wish it were true. Juan, if you go back to Miraflores now, the orders are to kill you. What are you talking about, kill me? Everything passes, hombre. Things change. What's changed? Cardona. Cardona? How? I stole that white horse he rides. But that's in the past. We were heroes, yes. But now Cardona sits fat in a white suit in the palace of the Gobernador. And he wants no part of the old past. And what about the rest of them? The ones who put him there? You've got to understand, man. You win the throne of the Gobernador. And power makes enemies out of old friends. Cabeza de Vaca is dead. Cholo's on the run still in the revolutionary profession. And do you know who he has to fight? Cardona. And you, Mitar? Oh, man gets old. He has to go where the grub is. Adios, viejo. Podre, amigo. I run the rurales for Cardona now. End of a dream. Don't make it into a nightmare. In the name of the old past, don't make me responsible for your hanging. from Bitter Creek, and it's my night to howl. <laughs> Maybe you had enough. <laughs> I sure have, up to here. Hey, ain't there no action in this here town? Oh, you sure ready to fight the bear. Yeah, it don't it show, eh? Where the wild grizzly screams with scare when I crawl into his den. <laughs> Tom, you settle down. Yeah. Yeah. Mira Flores. Now, oh, there's a the place. Yeah, you got me a war bag full of dreams. Swing it on it. Wild running deer. Cold stream full of trout. Green grass so tender a man could eat. You been there? No. But I've been in all them saloons. 
trying to get my daddy out before somebody really believed he was the original wild man from Bodie. Man's world. You need somebody to protect you. You've done that already. I want a bottle. Not from you. From her. Look, I don't want trouble. And you tell her to serve me. The trouble is, old Ben won't give me no breeding cattle if there ain't no mere flores. You earn your pay, play pretty. I don't hear a thing. But I sure do smell something awful bad. You boys are lazy white hands, ain't you? Yeah, all but him. Three of them. And he was doing fine until the roof fell on him. Well, you're gonna be late getting back. Cause you're going to jail for a spell. Him too? Him too. Come on, let's pick him up and go. Get them all out of here, Cheryl. Get them out Come of on, here. Come on, boys, move. Rosie? I'm there. why I'm in this here Iron Hotel. What are you doing here? Sheriff let me in. After the lazy wife foreman paid damages to get his hands loose. How you feel, Bo? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, uh... How long have I been out? This ain't no place for the likes of you. That same thought just come to me, too. It's like caging a big old eagle. What's that? Five hundred dollars. I got my inheritance. You'll probably have to pay something to get out of here. <laughs> That's your getaway money, gal. If I take that, what are you, how are you going to make San Francisco? I'm a yonder man, Noreen. The way I move, I might not be coming back for some time. Please, take my money. That won't be necessary. <coughs> no, sir, not while I got my own 500. No, you're gonna need that 500 to pay me for those beeves I'm selling you. Well, what about the damages? The Lazy R's ramrod said that his men admitted they were in the wrong, so uh, they're gonna stand the damages. You're in the clear. Get your hat. Well, what about her? Oh, stagecoach leaves in two days. I got my job till then. You ain't got the talent for that kind of job, Noreen. Ben, she's a milksop calf. A bow, natural born target for every hog leg buster in the territory. Well, Noreen, uh, you can come out to the ranch and stay there till you're ready to leave for San Francisco if you want to. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> All the land we rode over, up there, 
to the mountains and beyond, Ponderosa Land. Yes, sir, old Ben Cartwright sure did build his other spread. Better don't hold a candle to Miraflores. Oh, Miraflores ain't such a much. It will be once you take hold. Ain't nothing you can't do, Baudry. I've been thinking a man gets to settle down, he's gonna want a woman to back him up. There are plenty of those pretty little chiquitas below the border just waiting to be lassoed. But you throw a long loop, too. I never did build me no reputation being a one-woman man. Wouldn't make no difference to me. Well, settle down roost just got astray a bit, but they always come back to the home roost. My, my. That's a lot of knowing coming from spring chicken. It ain't how long you lived, it's what you done with the living you used up. Well, when you get to San Francisco... Well, I ain't got no reason to go to San Francisco. Got me a reason to go someplace else. Where? Near Flores with you. It's getting late, Noreen. It's never too late to buy into a dream, Baldry. I got that $500 and it's yours for the asking. I don't want to go alone no more. Please take me with you. You don't know what you'd be letting yourself in for. I don't care. Because I know I, I wash out pale against all them hot-eyed senoritas. Noreen. Right now, they don't hold a candle to you. He looked me straight in the eye and said he didn't know this Charo. Next thing I know, he's fallen all over him. Well, maybe it was a mistake. No, I don't think it was a mistake. What about this friend of his that he didn't know so well? Huh? He's a uh, Mexican, mid-40s, uh, dark, soft-spoken man. Do you have anything on him in the posters? Well, not that I remember, but let's take a look. All right. Howdy. Roy Coffey's my name. Deputy Stryker. Glad to know you. What can we do for you? Hey, you've come a long way. I've made shorter rides. Uh, this is Mr. Kennedy. We all call him Candy. Candy. Hi. This man's from Crease, Montana. Crease? I'd say you were looking for a man named Baudry. That's the name on the warrant. I had a man named Baudry locked up in jail here for busting up three cowboys in a saloon all by himself. Now, could that have been him? That's Baudry. Which way do you go? He's uh, at the Ponderosa Ranch. I'll show you. No, I don't put you out, none. No trouble. Come on. Well, you got faith in him. You believe in him. You're giving him a stake. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> See, there was a time on the Pendinalis when I was as good as dead. And, and he saved your life? You know, 50 beeves is little enough to pay for something like that, isn't it? Ain't that something? Willing to sacrifice himself for you. Oh, I... I don't know about that. I was never really sure. Maybe it was because he was one against 12 bloodthirsty Comancheros. Maybe that was challenge enough. So was Mira Flores. So was San Francisco. For you. 
I ain't got no reason to go there now, Mr. Cartwright. I never had nothing all my life. And now I got him. I'm heading out with Baudry. Well. Well, well, well. Did he, uh... Did he ask you to, to go along with him? Good ass. Miraflores. Rough country. It's a whole lot different from what you've been used to. Oh, I don't care about that. All I care about is him. Why are you telling me? You're his friend. I, I, I thought... I was hoping you'd be happy for him. For, for both of us. Of course. Of course. Well, I better go back. Won't do to keep Bolger waiting. Too bad, don't you? Yeah, I'm uh, deputy in out of crease these days. Fact is, I'm here on business. I reckon you know what it is. Listen, you'd never believe who's uh, who's running this spread, you know. Ben Cartwright. Oh, Ben? Yeah. Why, well, I haven't seen him since he took the salute after the battle with Sarah Bosco. <laughs> <laughs> and upright this lad to the camp cook. Now he's got scare oozing out of every pore. <laughs> He said, the line's broke. Run for your life, lady. The banditos are coming. <laughs> yeah, well, she just hauls off and whacks him clean out of that saddle with a big old fry pan. <laughs> now, she said, you got a choice to make here, boy. You can either get killed by them or by me. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you hear that story? <laughs> that was me she hit with her fry pan. <laughs> <laughs> He said you had some business to discuss, Stryker. <laughs> Bo? Ain't you never gonna learn? You're, uh, you're not talking about Chris Thorson, are you? He give you a job running those steers in the crease. <sighs> and I delivered him like he said. And you run off with Thorson's 500. Well, I just figured for a loan. You didn't tell him. Why, I blew more than that in one night having a bus with Chris. That time we came down from the Canadian with all them belts. More than a thousand dollars in one night. Times change, man. Fun's fun. But this is business. Tell you what, Bo. You give me the money. I'm sure he'll be willing to forget the old thing for old time's sake. And if I don't, then I'll have to bring you back to Crease and make you stand trial for cattle thieving. I think you 
better give him back that money. I was going to give it back as soon as I got set up in Mira Flores with all those cattle you were going to... Deal is off. Give it back. Ben! Give it back. Better make your peace, Valdry. Ain't no running room left these days. I helped you tame a few towns, Stryker. Hey, come to this. Those were the old times. The good times. Now all I got is a war bag full of memories. And this here badge. And just a job keeping it. Seventy-five a month and found. Working for the storekeepers as runs the towns. I'll see you, Ben. I need those cattle, Ben. I can still make it below the border. After all we've been through. I ain't asking for charity, Ben. He don't need it. Baudry, I got $500. Now, you can count it if you want to, but I want to buy a piece of Miraflores, too. Still on, Ben. You gents got some final business. Baudry, holler when you're ready. My girl. Yeah, they made her. They busted the mold. <laughs> well, that is 50 heads worth. Get out. Mr. He forced me from Padre. He was going to take me to the sheriff. My Florale badge means nothing here, you know that. I can cause no incident. This is the man Padre said you didn't know. He has something to say I think you ought to hear. It's Matar. Mm. Matar! You remember me, senor? Yes. From Miraflores. Of course I do, of course I do. What are you doing up here? I came to, to warn Baudry. Warn him about what? Tell him. Well? Baudry's got a price on his head in Miraflores. If he goes back down there, they'll kill him. He's my friend. I, I had to warn him. I hurt Ben. You? No, not me. Maybe Noreen. What about her? I need her. He's going to help me settle down. You settle down? You're going to be on the run for the rest of your life. Striker squared things in Montana? What have I got to run from? I'll tell you what you got to run from. Yourself. I need them bees, Ben. A deal's a deal. You got no choice. You have a choice. Them beeves, or that girl. Well, they don't mean nothing without that girl left to believe in me. I need her, Ben. Now, what do you do when you've run through her money? And when you've used her up? How's she gonna feed on those glory tales of yours when you leave her behind to go up yondering again? I won't leave her. Well, you can tell her that. Maybe she'll believe you, but I don't. Audrey. You're a liar. Paul! Stay out of his Ben, get up on your feet! 
call me a liar. Oh, no, stop it. Oh, please. Get out of my way. Oh. You're still faster with your fists than with your head, aren't you? Well? I got things to do and places to go, and I aim to be free, and I got no need for nobody. What's ever going to happen to him? Mr. Cartwright, do you think he'll ever settle down? I don't know. Hope so. By the way, the Perrys will be waiting for you when you get to San Francisco. They're nice, quiet folks, and they'll see that you get the right start. Thank you. Bye-bye. Spoil the goodbyes. But I want to say goodbye to you, Ben. Those bees are in the northwest pasture. You better take them along with you. Oh, Ben. Not for old time's sake. But the fights we once had, and the one we didn't have. Along, someone he understands, swap lines with. Adios. 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 How much of Baudry is a lie, and how much of him is really the truth? I think even Baudry could answer that. 